What's up guys? This video is going to give you a quick rundown on how to place uh, rocks and different assets into your new map. So this is assuming you've done part one and you've figured out how to build your map and get it into the engine. Um, this will be purely reusing um, our assets that we use to create Demon's Land. Um, later on we'll show you how to import your own assets it's fairly trivial um, but we'll just use ours for simplicity um, so the first thing we're going to do um, if you have a look through the project folder of the SDK you'll see uh, a bunch of different assets some textures some rocks um, some trees these are all free to use in any map you like and they'll be a good starting set to work with um, for an example let's load up Let's find our cliffs folder um, and you'll notice that there's a prefab for each biome for each of the different we've got four variations of the cliffs that we slam into the side of hill so for the red desert we've got the matching red desert cliff which you can just click and drag straight into the map um, and it will place it wherever you drag it um, once you've got it into the scene you'll notice up here that it shows in the hierarchy view so the hierarchy represents everything that is in your level uh, as I said in part one everything that you include needs to be a child or at least lower than um, the level objects um, game object um, this makes sure that when you change level that everything's destroyed and cleaned up properly so as you can see here we've got our first rock in place that's pretty much all you need to do to get um, a game object into the world. It's already got a collider um, and material config set on it. Um, it also has a LOD group which makes it so that it doesn't waste vertices at long distances and keeps everything running smooth. So you don't need to think about any of that stuff. Just drag it in and you should be good to go. Um, so let's just duplicate this and create a few extra rotate them around um, keys control D is your duplicate key um, which I'm pressing to create new ones um, also pressing W and E which toggles between move and rotate um, which you'll get used to as you play around with the editor um, you can rotate these any which way you like Okay, so we've got five variations of these, so we can grab a different red, de different shaped red desert rock, chuck that in. If you wanted to get a little crazy and put a snow rock in, um, so you can have a look through these assets. Uh, everything except trees, you can just drag directly onto the terrain. Trees work a little bit different. Um, trees run through the terrain tree system, so. To modify them you need to click on the terrain, go to the trees um, tab, go to edit trees, add tree, um, you'll see various trees and bushes that we use throughout the map. In this preview they don't show with leaves but once you actually place them on the terrain they will. you'll see what they are. Um, so if you select, press add, good way to sample them is just go mass place trees, chuck in a few hundred there we go, so now we've got some trees in our landscape um, so let me just repeat that you should never drag a tree directly onto the terrain um, they, they become very expensive at long distances and Unity does a lot of magic to make it so that they turn into two dimensional objects in the distance and keep everything running smoothly um, and if you just drag them onto the terrain you don't get any of that magic um, all right so we've got where's our player spawning so this is the spawn point spawn point we placed in the first episode let's just move him over into the middle of our rocks a little bit more 